Hey there guys and welcome to the Warrior 5.2 build. My name is Fishborn aka Vale. And let's get right into it. So when I open my talent tree you see I've got double arms. Uh, this one is for when I solo queue. This one is for when I queue up with friends and pre mates and stuff. Um, I'll first tell you my solo queue build. Why I picked what. Uh, double time is purely because of a, I like the more mobility. The, the other ones are good as well, but I just personally like uh, double time. You always want to pick something that you feel good with. I picked second win because it's the, f the best by far at the moment. Uh, no questions asked about that for me. Second win is the way to go. Um, I also take Piercing Hull because of the casters. In case my mobility of my double charge and my heroic leap here is um, on cooldown, I can keep uh, slowing them. I always slow them anyway. And hopefully nuke them down fast. So in this tier, um, you can either choose Bladestorm or Dragon Roar. In my opinion, I take Dragon Roar purely because it's an anti tank uh, ability. Ignoring all armor and stuff, it's got some really good potential on killing people. Uh, I like mass power reflect in the next tier purely because one reflect is not enough for me. Uh, I like to have a second one. If I see a lock, then I feel like okay, I'm gonna get chaos bolted. And if he's gonna try it again, I can just do a mass power reflect and hopefully uh, reflect the chaos bolt again instead of if there's a person next to me and he's getting a spell on him as well at the same time but that doesn't happen that often I usually get the second one on him as well now next um, well next pick in the tier 3 is probably something a lot of warriors will go why the fuck did he take storm bolt um, and I can say that I picked storm bolt because I like a stun. If I if I don't take a stun, I feel squishy as fucking hell, man. I cannot help it to feel that my class needs a stun, and the cooldown on Shockwave here is just too fucking long, and the chance of hitting three people with it, ugh, I don't feel comfortable with doing that. It it has to make you think a bit more in situations and stuff and if you're solo queuing for fun which I do is I don't want to think about what I'm doing I just want to fucking mash my buttons and kill people which a lot of people do and the problem that people have on on that as well is tunnel vision I'm not gonna blame you if, if you've got tunnel vision but there are some situations that people go tunnel vision and you can cap a flag in Arati Basin for example and they'll go like you fucking noobs defend that shit and well you know but for me it's storm bolt and I really like it for my solo queues okay I'm gonna go into my uh, pre-made queue and also uh, I used this in arena for quite a while but I'll go through it again Basically, it's the same build except for going Stormball to Avatar because when I know I'm on a pre made that my friends and guildies and stuff they're gonna CC a lot. The, the ones I know, the ones I play with, always grip and CC and communicate and stuff. So it's really easy for me to go on the targets and steal the killing blows and stuff, and they get a bit pissed off at that, but uh, I don't mind. Okay, so I'm also gonna cover what I do in Arena. In Arena, I usually take this build, purely this build, but I only take this if I see comps that have double melee DPS. If I see that the enemy has a healer or a dual caster, I'll immediately swap Dragon Roar to Blade Storm, purely because you don't need the armor. And Bladestorm is so good for he for healers, even when you're facing a monk, you just pop your one shot charge, uh, pop your Bladestorm, and even when the monk does Ring of Peace, it won't have any effect on you because of the Bladestorm. 
which is really good. And on the other heel, they'll go down like butter, man. It's just bam, 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 dead. And if you're a double DPS, the blade storm will like get him low, and your other partner will just go full nuke mode. And usually, you get the healer down if you communicate good and stuff. But I also want to warn you about not popping it too fast. Um, I usually try to get at least 20% of their health off bef before I do my one shot and stuff on healers. So we have a bit bigger chance on killing him. I also will show you my glyphs. Uh, I think it's the same in both specs. Yeah, it's the same in both specs. So I take Glyph of Death from above purely because the reduced cooldown is cool and I like my mobility. I've already told you I like mobility in games. Um, Colossal Smash because the Sunder Armor really effective. And Bull Charge. You know I'm mobile with my double charge over here. Um, you probably can't see it on the screen because it cuts it out for some reason. Um, but Bull Charge, the 15 rage you get is good if you want to go Colossal sla Smash Slam. Uh, Colossal Smash Spamming, excuse me for that. And it's just a good uh, um, glyph in my opinion. Now these three is all personal preference, uh, how you want to look and stuff. I just go with these three, um, Glyph of Thunderstrike, Blazing Tail and Burning Anger because I like how they look and hopefully this has helped you guys on your warrior and has given you a little bit of information about the warrior and how I play. Uh, I hope to see you guys again in other videos and arms montages and stuff. I'll also make um, some Shaman videos soon and I'm trying to level my Paladin and my Mage to make some videos on those as well. But we'll see how that goes and for now guys, um, I hope you enjoyed it. You can always subscribe to my channel and see more. Like a video, comment, it's all welcome and see you in the next one. Goodbye guys.